Hello, hello. We're talking life in the colonies. Boy, look at the clutter in that room. You got uh, somebody churning butter in the background there. Someone's cooking something over the fire. Kids are in the way as usual, right? <laughs> Grandpa's doing something. Everyone's busy. Those were the days. Now, first thing I always get asked, did they have any fun in the colonies at all? It sounds torturous. Well, of course they had fun. They had real simple fun. Think of, well, at least the analogy that always comes to mind for me is when we're camping, right? No technology. You're just outside enjoying nature, being together, having fun, coming up with games. We used to get, um, we'd get like a little piece of wood, at least when I was a kid, and we'd put it in the river or the creek. And my brothers would do the same thing. And we'd have races with our supposedly boats going down the, the stream. That was fun. That's the kind of stuff they did. Did they have any toys at all? Oh, yeah, they had some toys. There's one pictured there, the old ball and bowl. I, I made that name up. I'm not sure what it's called. Um, that's a good hand-eye coordination, though, kids. Get that. That's great. Do both hands. Um, they had dolls, of course. They had marbles. They had tops to spin. They had slingshots, which were really fun. Um, and they played games, obviously. Uh, tag, been around forever. Blind man's bluff, which is kind of like tag, except you blind man. <laughs> you blind man. <sighs> you tie like a handkerchief around the person who is it so they can't see, and you can run them into trees and fun stuff like that. Uh, stool ball, which isn't what you think it is. It's actually kind of similar to cricket or our baseball. Duck on a rock, with I, which I know you guys have done this. You set something up a distance away and you try to knock it off with a rock. You know, that's fun. It's simple stuff. There were no iPhones, you know, no uh, iPads, no TVs, no computers, no video games. There's no electricity, for goodness sake, right? So it is simple, innocent, fun, good stuff. But this was the highlight. The fair is coming to town, right? Woohoo! Man, that's going to be fun. You've got dancing contests, baking contests, uh, foot races, wrestling matches. You got the greased up pig that someone's trying to catch. You catch that pig and you hold on to it. You might even get yourself a free pie, right? Those were the days. They even would grease up a pole. Can you imagine trying to climb a greased pole? For goodness sakes, difficult. But this was kind of like, this was their Disneyland, right? The county fair. So fun. Soccer? Not really soccer per se. However, they did sometimes pull the bladder out of an animal, not a live animal, pull the bladder out of an animal that was dead, okay? And it was so stretchy, they could cut it open, they could stuff it real tight with hay or some other material, sew it up, and they could kick it around kind of like a ball. So in a way, they were playing soccer. Now, the food was not great. Okay, I have to admit, it, wasn't, it doesn't sound that good. Um, for morning and night, their breakfast and their dinner, they had something made of corn every day. You know, some kind of a cornmeal mush. Eh, think of like a oatmeal consistency with corn or corn cake, which is uh, basically cornbread. That's going to be there every day. Get used to it. Meat was really popular, right? They did a lot of hunting for wild deer, um, birds, rabbits, that kind of thing. And then, of course, they raised a lot of. A lot of animals on farms for, for meat. Pigs, cattle, chickens. Hey, I got a chicken on right now. Mm -hmm. um, but the biggest problem was keeping the meat from going rotten. There was no refrigeration, nothing to keep it cold. So they had to really salt it down or smoke it or pickle it, right? But you'll love this. Many colonists thought that vegetables were unhealthy, especially the raw ones. Oh, man, you kids lucked out there, right? Maybe why they only lived to about 40. They didn't eat their vegetables. And finally, the main meal, the main meal was like their lunch. It was from noon to about three o'clock. It was some kind of stew that's been simmering over the fire all day long, probably like 24 hours a day when you think about it. Um, why? Well, that would keep it from spoiling, right? It'll keep the heat up on that baby. So things were challenging, you know, just to create a simple meal. You got 15 kids in your family, right? Can you imagine what it took to create one meal? Man, everything was so difficult back then. You guys don't know how good or easy you've got it. Not me, of course. Just you. I hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.